I want to congratulate uh, the two new members of our leadership team. Kevin McCarthy from California is our new majority leader, and Steve Scalise from Louisiana is our new majority whip. I want to thank uh, all of my colleagues uh, uh, who did participate uh, in this election. Uh, competition is a good thing. Well, first and foremost, I want to thank my constituents and my colleagues for the trust that they instilled in me. America is struggling. We're struggling with a stagnant economy, a failed health care law, and so many are living paycheck to paycheck. They are looking for individuals that put people before politics. I'll make one promise. I will work every single day to make sure this conference has the courage to lead with the wisdom to listen. And we'll turn this country around. Thank you. Thank you. I, uh, too, want to thank my colleagues and my constituents for the honor. They've entrusted me to be the next majority whip. I'm looking forward to bringing a fresh new voice to our leadership table and joining with this team to help confront the challenges that are people all across this country are facing. We've got solid conservative solutions that are going to solve the problems facing our country. We've reached out to the president to join us in solving those problems, but we're going to continue to move forward in the House as a united team, building a stronger team to address those problems and continue to work to get our country back on track and our economy moving again. This has been a big day for the Republicans, and I'm, I'm proud to stand with the, our new leadership team for the 113th Congress, and congratulations to our new majority leader, Kevin McCarthy, and our new majority whip, Steve Scalise. And more than anything, we are united. We are united in our efforts to move America forward, make America strong. We built a strong team that, that was representative of our entire conference. Uh, I'm proud to be the chairman of the Republican Study Committee, which is 176 members of our conference. Uh, and, and I've worked very hard over that uh, year and a half that I've been chairman to build consensus, to move conservative solutions forward in a way that unites our conference and solves problems facing our country. And the results that I've had over that year and a half have had broad appeal throughout our conference, including non-RSC members that recognize that actually helps strengthen our team to address the problems facing America. So we built a really strong team, a team that's uh, very representative of our entire conference, which shows uh, that our, our conference wants to move forward even stronger so that we can even do a better job of addressing those problems facing the country and now have the White House and Senate start working with us to join in in addressing those problems as well. What about I mean, this, this is a win for America because we're going to be a more united team moving forward. They elected a guy who is a grandson of a cattle rancher, the son of a firefighter, only in America do you get that opportunity. They elected a guy that's only grown up through the grassroots. They elected a guy that spent his time going around recruiting many of these individuals to get the majority. Look, I've always had to struggle for whatever we wanted to overcome. I think that's the greatest part of about America, that they've always give you the privilege and the opportunity. That's what this party brings as well. I think you give an opportunity People will be very impressed about what we're going to do and where we're going to go.